And just when you thought Nintendo was out of tricks, they hit us with some crazy announcements in the latest Nintendo Direct. So much so, I even, uh, I think I peed a little. So let's go through all the announcements in this direct and let me know in the comments before we get started, what would you rate it out of 10? The show starts off with a heavy hitter, Mario and Luigi Brotherhood. Yes! I thought this franchise was toast, mainly because the developer since the first Game Boy game, Alpha Dream, went bankrupt after the most recent Mario and Luigi game on 3DS. So having a brand new Mario and Luigi game was a complete shocker. <laughs> and that's what it felt like. Nintendo has been blessing us with every Mario RPG series as of late. We got the original Mario RPG remake, the Thousand Year Door remake, and now a brand new Mario Luigi game? And the art style is fantastic. We now see Mario Luigi as 3D models in the Mario Luigi art style. It's just, it's, <laughs> and they have a ton of personality. This has to be the star of the show for me. And we even got a November release date. You better believe this is a day one for me. This is going in S tier. Oh yeah, and I'm ranking each of these announcements as well by Hype Factor. Next, they touched a little bit on the NES World Championship game, but that's not really anything new, and I don't have much to say about it, but I'm still getting it C tier. But I did just want to take a second and thank Nintendo for instantly dating my last video. With a new free DLC announced for Nintendo Switch Sports, they added basketball, baby. I'm pretty pumped about this. Adding the same modes from Wii Sports Resort and even adding a new four-player mode in the shootout game. It looks fantastic. But again, Nintendo, you should have told me it like a week ago, and this comes out in summer so uh, we'll get to play it soon, B tier. But if you're not a Nintendo Switch Sports fan, maybe you're a Donkey Kong fan. They announced Donkey Kong Country Returns HD. This allows you to play it again for the third time, but now on Switch. I'm a little mixed on this, because you can tell it's just a Wii game upscaled to 1080p. I'm fine with this because it gives people who haven't played it a chance to, but I'll be angry if it's full price. This also does include the additional content from the 3DS port, so that's fun. And it releases in January 2025, which is the first 2025 release. Hi B. And next, how could you possibly forget about Funko Fusion? I just find this one really interesting. I'm not sure how the characters work. Maybe it's like a Toys to Life thing, which would be really cool. But it looks horrible on Switch. Just awful. Is it? Oh, oh my looks goodness. Horrible. I didn't realize this was actually a game that they had previously announced. But anyways, I'm always happy to see Mr. Har Har Man himself. Can you tell? I like him. C tier. We also got to see Luigi's Mansion. It's Luigi's Mansion. We know everything we need to know about it. it comes out next week. It's a 3DS remake. It looks like an upscale 3DS game. C tier. We also got to look at the new 17 plus Nintendo Switch games for NSO, which I can't show here because they're too incredibly naughty. I'm just kidding. Turok and Perfect Dark. Oh, and Metroid Fusion. C tier. If you know me at all, you'll know I love to party. Mario Party, that is. Mario Party Jubilee was announced, and I'm so pumped, but also very worried. This looks like a sequel for the first Mario Party game on Switch, which forced you to use the Joy-Cons, which made it impossible for Switch Lite users to play. And it seems like they're doing that again for some reason. I think they are adding elements that work from Superstars. I just hope it's more accessible than the first one. We could already see that some mini games use the Joy-Cons, but I hope that we're not tied to it. Please allow my Switch Lite brethren to play this game. But I love the new and remade stages and mini games, and I'm excited to try out the online mode with up to 20 players. It comes out in October, and you better believe this is also a day one, A tier. But Nintendo continued to blow us away with a brand new Legend of Zelda game, Echoes of Wisdom, in the same art style as Link's Awakening, but now you play as Zelda. Maybe it should be called Legend of Link. This looks phenomenal. Using objects and enemies to blast through levels, and it gets released in September. They're just throwing as much as they could possibly throw at us Nintendo fans. And it launches with a new gold switch Switch Lite. Now, I already have a Switch, and my wife has a Switch Lite, but I want this gold Switch Lite so much. I'm willing to take the leap and, and get this new Switch Lite, just because it looks so friggin' cool. S tier. I also wanted to mention LEGO Horizons, because it's such an interesting release. Having a PlayStation IP on Nintendo. We already heard about this earlier in the week, but I'm a happy guy to see it here. Except, it looks like it's playing on Switch. B tier. Speaking of shocking games on Switch, we also got the cat game, Stray, which is one of the most quirky games out there. But once again, it looks like it's playing on Switch. B tier. And to end off the presentation, we got the long awaited Metroid Prime 4 Beyond after seven years. Now this looks so good, just like Metroid Prime Remastered. Yes, it still looks like a Switch game, but undeniably it looks fantastic. We get to see this new mass 
massive area, some enemies, Samus in ball form. This is the one game we knew about, but didn't know any details about. And it was heavily debated if this would just skip the Switch generation. But finally, it's confirmed for 2025. And it still could be a cross-generation game, just like Breath of the Wild was. We'll have to wait and see. We're guessing it'll be available in March or whenever the Switch successor comes out. This is obviously an S tier. Everything else that was in the Direct, I didn't really care too much about, but we did see Ace Attorney, Dragon Quest HD 2D, and uh, Hello Kitty. I just want to share my opinion on this Direct and uh, have a conversation with everyone. If you want to watch my reaction, click this video. I hope to see you in the next one. See you later.